it could really go either way, I think. Uh, matchup might have a lot to do with it, too. So we are seeing, it looks like Prime is playing Zetterburn. I think we're more used to the tried and true pli uh, Prime Rano. Yeah. But I've lost to their Rano. Rano's good, so. I, <laughs> I think you have lost to their Rano, no, too. No, I think I've, I've always no, beat it, but it's close. All right, fine. I don't lose fine. to very many Rano. <laughs> 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 but uh, no, it's very good. This matchup can be tricky for Zetter, but it's all about your movement, really. Yeah. But we're gonna see how it goes. It ducks under the deck card. Yep, yep. We're gonna see a lot of the starter. Oh. Uh, so no edge guard there. That's gonna come into play a lot. If you're Claren, you want to make the edge guards against Zetter hurt a lot. Yeah. But uh. You wanna get like tip or dare and then like infinite kill them. Yes. Or you can run off and grab them. And on the other side of that coin, if you're Zetter, if every opening you get, you want to do a heck of a lot of damage. But, and we kind of saw that from Prime's first opening there, like about 100%. That was pretty solid. Definitely in percent range for an up smash. Oh! I think they were trying to get Shine up smash. Yeah, I think so. Other. Yeah, that's, that's definitely what it looked like. This will be a little bit. This is definitely letting uh, Cyberhex even up the playing field a lot here, which is really what she needed. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, this... Kill. Let's see. That'll do it. Okay, I think that uh, that first stock is going to be pretty important. Now Prime can play more patient game. Which... Oh, there we go. that was good. Covering the roll. Evening it up. Yeah. Especially since it's the uh, the backwards hitbox the ones that's shorter, but since uh, they're on the edge, I kind of covered most options. So that was really good. Okay, yeah. Like Big down tilt, edge forward cards. tilt, down tilt, forward tilt. So. Yeah, when you're Zetter in that situation, you just kind of have to bide your time. Wait for the perfect moment to use your resources, or else you're oh. really doomed. But. Lots of neutral play here. I, it doesn't seem like any player is really blowing each other up. Just a lot of neutral, a lot of nickel and dime. Just gotta be smart. Okay. Big opening here. Okay. <laughs> Should have been. <laughs> well, it looked like, I think they were trying to cover the uh, tech out. Sort of looked like at least. Uh, good okay. Day. Yeah, good parries on that for sure. <sighs> Almost. I'm not sure if that would have killed, but it would have been great to send him off stage. Cyber Hex, bit of advantage state now. The weird thing is, I think the neutral isn't coming from uh, Prime, like, missing stuff. It's coming mostly from, like, uh, Hex just backing off out of a lot of hits. Yeah. Like, they could extend more, and they would be winning even more than they are right now. Like... That's how I feel. Yeah, it's good to know the limits of your own combo game, though. If you're not confident in hitting it, okay, that's really good. It's big. Percent. Or, you know, maybe maybe she's just really confident in that neutral. Yeah. In the Claren backing Oh, up. that? Okay, okay. Prom only barely made it back there, but that was a yeah. huge bit of percent. Even if it wasn't the stock, that's uh, that's going to help a lot. Living, though. Yeah, no, a sweet spot there would have killed, and you could see Prom was going for it, but oh. not quite. There you go. Okay, so even stocks. Bit of a lead, but it only matters so much. It's like three hits. Yep. <laughs> oh, big parry as well. So that's going to pretty well even things up. Cyberhex kind of oh, DI'ing in there. It worked out. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, we're on kill percent now. Great DI to avoid getting up smash after that. Oh, could have been an up smash. Oh, and she gets it. Let's go. All Whew. right. Cyberhex is definitely looks like she's feeling it there. That was a tight set, so you can definitely imagine that both of these players are probably feeling the nerves a little bit. Yeah, I don't think she really made that many mistakes. Uh, no. Like, she just played out her game plan. So even if she is feeling nervous, like... Just keep doing that, yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think any either of them made significant mistakes. It was uh, a lot of just patient play. Like, Pairing fireballs. I don't think Cyberhex has missed one of those yet. It's good stuff. Okay. Getting something started. Yeah, it looks like uh, Prime is still trying to kind of force their way out of these uh, situations by just like tech and play shine. Cyberhex is spacing it a bit better now. Okay. 
big edge guard opportunity. Oh yeah. Not dead though. That could have been I a second like, fair. Yeah. yeah. I've seen that too much to <laughs> not know. I've seen that many, many times, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, the patience. Really? Oh, How that did that miss. I can't that believe that was a different. Okay. This and oh, oh, tries to time the back air. That's really difficult, though. It is difficult because you have to pick the right di. Especially since we know Prime has good di, so yeah. they're not gonna make it easy in any situation. Good di. Dash okay, and that'll kill. Yeah. But this is pretty well a uh, repeat of the first game. Prime took the first stock on that one too. Yeah. If she can just go back to slowing, although this stage it might be difficult to slow it down. Yeah, so in that case it's a good pick by Prime for sure. Yeah. Oh, that could have been it. No. Really having a hard time getting the stock. Wait, what? I, there you go. <laughs> Seeing those, uh, those buffs from a few months ago on Down Smash coming in. Okay. Every time Cyberhex is in the corner, just kind of waiting like that, it's so scary. Because you know if Prime manages to find that one sweet spot fair, it's gonna be brutal. Oh, okay. And that, oh, could, be that could be it. Oh, um, good DI out on di uh, Prime. It's really scary to DI out properly on Rockwell because you're afraid you're just gonna die to the down tilt. Well, did they DI all the way out? Because I feel like no. they might have gotten hit by the dare if they DI'd all the way out. I think they like tech. I think they DI'd and drifted out, but in any case, it was correct. <laughs> yeah, it worked out. Oh, neither of them wants to get oh, hit no. here. Oh, oh my goodness, they're no. both. Oh, I respect it. Going for the ledge cancel, but yeah. very you kind of need business. it versus Zetterburn. You right, you're just gonna die there to like. That's up here. No. It's really these just stock-ending tippers that Cyberhex is struggling with. There we go. Okay. Okay. Just takes off the helmet. You know, you gotta see a little better sometimes. Yeah, the, the flames were getting in the way. Couldn't really see. All right. Oh. Big opening, but we see it. We're seeing it from Prime now too. Getting one neutral win, but just patient, not overextending. Yep. Big, big edge guard. Ooh, oh, both tippers! And 2-0 for Cyberhex? You could tell that really Prime... Big oh my gosh. Prime must have expected the second forward air not to tipper, so they're DIing out, and on Rockwall, you can't make that mistake. Cyberhex, quite a story. I believe she was... She, we just missed out on her being one of our uh, substitutes for... Um, for Skyline. Oh, yeah, yeah. And now she's come all the way from that to beating definitely like a top 10 tri state player. Well, almost like top probably 12. top, at least top 30 in the world at one point. Maybe 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that good. I know I couldn't tell you which of the online RCS it, is it was because they all kind of blended oh, my mind. It was such a good fit. It was great. It was really good. Just the right amount of drift. But, uh, no, I definitely remember not really knowing who Cyberhex was because I just hadn't heard of them before. But I saw their bracket run at one of the online RCSs, and it was very impressive. And that was, I think, one of the first times I was like, oh, this is, uh, there's some potential there, for sure. Ooh, is that Lucius? Looks like Lucius. Not sure quite who we're going to see. <laughs> Lucius, Lucius playing with the... They're very oppressive and difficult to see through. I, I'm pretty sure I've heard that uh, he only gets one eye to see from yeah. when he's doing that. Well, he told he's told us that like he it makes him play better though, so I'm inclined to believe him. <laughs> I don't know why you would lie about that, <laughs> but I don't. He gave me a reason, but I don't quite remember it. In any case, Lucius is. I'm almost certain seated to get into the top eight of this event. Yeah, he's he's seated seventh, I believe. Yes. Which is a very exclusive club.